hello everyone in today's video we are going to see how we can install Hadoop in our Windows system and perform some applications like word count at first we have to download Hadoop and Java and then perform some installation steps the first step is to download Hadoop we can download Hadoop from this link we need to download Java also from this link from Oracle website um, we need to install uh, the in C folder like uh, I have downloaded uh, Hadoop 2.8.0 in this uh, C folder and I have kept it here we can do um, by uh, unzipping this um, unzipping this file in uh, this location we can use the software uh, like zip software and we can unzip here once it is here then we can use it uh, similarly we need to install java also and we can install we need to install java in this location location i have installed uh, java in c and java like i have installed jdk jre i have installed here once installation is complete we need to set hadoop home and java home um, to do this we need to we can set uh, java home and hadoop home from this uh, from system settings and we need to go to environment variable and i have set home hadoop home to this folder um, because i have kept hadoop files in this inside c drive and hadoop 280 and slash bin uh, that is my hadoop home and java home is c java uh, jdk 1.8 uh, this is my java home and after that um, uh, environment variable we need to set path also for path we need to s we can see this one and edit then uh, we need to add like new and add here we need to add these uh, these locations these two locations here um, in path variable as you can see they are just uh, Hadoop home was C Hadoop 280 bin and this is also here and Java home is um, C Java JTK it was uh, here and Java home and in path we do C Java JTK slash bin and this is our path um, now setting path is also complete and after that we need to add some um, content in the files inside Hadoop folder to do this we need to go inside C Hadoop etc Hadoop C Hadoop etc and Hadoop inside this we can see uh, folder like core site dot xml core site dot xml initially uh, this file will be blank and we need to add these this code here again uh, in uh, again we can see file map read site xml um, map read site xml initially it will be uh, map read uh, site xml dot template and we have to rename it to map read site uh, xml then after that we need to add this code in inside this file uh, we need to add this file uh, this content here similarly um, we need to create folder data um, under this location under this location and we need to create data folder and inside there we create data node and name node um, we just create a data node and name node folder after that we need to go to c hadoop etc hadoop sdfs site dot xml again this uh, this file sdfs sdfs site dot xml we need to add this content in this file then again yarn dot xml yarn site dot xml we need to add add that code here and 
edit file c hadoop uh, in my hadoop.in by closing this one hadoop environment.cmd we need to edit this file and uh, inside there um, java home we need to make uh, we need to edit this java home okay um at first uh, it was like uh, um rem set java home like this and i added this and this um, this location is my our uh, java home variable uh, we, we are not just uh, keeping variable but the real value we are storing real value here and after that is done um, we need to download configuration file for this Hadoop um, it is running in Windows and so we need to have uh, some configuration files uh, I am using a github, uh, a github link uh, from this link we can um, get configuration files and for later purpose for word count we need this jar file also we can download it we can download both files now and once we download this configuration file uh, we will see, um, we will get some files inside that zip and then we come inside this uh, C Hadoop and bin folder we remove all the files uh, there and uh, put the files files um, that we downloaded from github uh, we uh, we replace the files in C C Hadoop to it zero dash slash bin uh, we just um, keep files from this um, we just keep the files that we downloaded and we can keep um, we can also download uh, jar file it will be useful later and we just we, did, we need to download and keep in C for C drive and in uh, command node after you do this you do you can do in command and then you can do you can do hdfs name node format and again go to this address um, go to this um, directory uh, and do start all like to C C D this we need to go to this location and then we start R dot CMD when we give this command we can see the Hadoop resources are started um, four services will be started that is Hadoop name node data node and end resource manager and node manager will run um, while this is running we can open these um, these links to see Hadoop details ok um, we can see um, this Hadoop details here again we can open this um, we can open this link we can see our um, Hadoop status now our our uh, Hadoop is running now we perform word count problem uh, to perform word count problem um, we need to keep the jar file that we downloaded in C 
C drive that we have already here uh, I have downloaded and kept this file here then we need to have a text file that we use to that we use to count the word see um, in Windows it doesn't let you edit file directly in C drive so I have already kept a file here and um, keep on uh, keep on uh, keep the jar file in C, in C drive one done two done and uh, open command in administrative and move to this folder and start cluster start all we just did this we have done step three and we are we are going to create input directory for SDFS we run this command after we have is uh, performed step three uh, we need to go create input directory in step four then we we run this command it is done and we run we run this step five my file name is red.txt see this red.txt so I gave uh, red.txt here we keep this uh, we we give this as per our file name and 6 in 6 we need to just verify if uh, our file is there or not yeah our file is there red.txt is there in seventh step we are going to see the content of the file see mm, it is just showing the content of the file and in, in eighth step we are going to perform um, map reduce task that is how to uh, jar and jar file is this and we are going to perform a word count and then this is the input directory and output directory now it is performing now it is performing uh, map reduce task now the word count problem is complete and to verify the content of generated output we just run this see all i one one times ram sita 2 a m and r2 citizen 2 go to like this like this it is done uh, word count problem is finished now if we need to um, run word count for another file now we need to perform word count problem again for another file um, so I have kept uh, another file nepal.txt we need to perform word count for nepal.txt then at first we need to clear old input directory deleted the directory is deleted then output directory we remove output directory and I have kept the file in C drive start all it is already started and create input directory now this is step 4 create input directory it is created and in input in fifth step uh, we are going to keep which one which file we want to process then it is nepal.txt okay it is done in sixth step we are going to see if that fi uh, file file is there or not it exists and in seventh step 
are going to see the content of the file and it is not read but nepal.txt I have written some paragraph about Nepal and in seventh step we are going to perform actual uh, word count problem Okay, the word count problem is word count operation is finished, and just we need to we need to verify content of the output, and it's it has got some it has got many words like uh, Buddha one, Gautam one, God one, it two, land two, and it was about Nepal, so we get uh, Nepal uh, many times five times and and six times in three is eight and off four similarly we can see uh, other words here the three two three okay that's it we can now perform operations like sorting um, after we perform word count we can use uh, we can perform sorting also um, for that we need to have different um, operation listed here so um, it is complete see you in next video if you want to learn about any other topics you can comment see you in next video bye bye